scan your body. Noticing any spaces where there's some tension or anxiety. Without judgment, just breathing into those places and letting the anxiety or tension dissolve so that you can really be present with yourself. Whatever's happening, just know that it's all good. If you're having resistant thoughts or distracting thoughts, allow them to happen and allow them to pass through. This part of the visualization is really only the first step. As you listen to my voice and allow whatever shows up to be just right, you know that there will be an opportunity to deepen your knowing of your future self. Oh no. Hold on, ladies. Ah! Elga, I think what happened to us is happening to you. Oh no, I can't get this thumb. Test run. Give me a second, ladies. Ah! This phone is like ridiculous. Do you want me to play it off my phone? Well, let me, um, I don't know what, it's like such a freaking crappy. So what I'll do is I'll just get, it just like when the screen goes black, it stops playing. So I'll just like tap, I've already done this before, so I'll just like make sure that my screen my screen um, doesn't turn off. That's what it was. Okay. You guys want me to start over or keep going? Keep going, okay. All right. This guided visualization. So there's no pressure to do it right or to have the right visualization. It's just an opportunity to relax, to listen and to be with your inner knowing, the eye behind the eye, your intuition, the part of you that deeply knows without any need of logic, evidence, or reason. So close your eyes now if they're not already. And again, take a deep belly breath as you settle even more deeply into this mood. And now in your mind's eye, take yourself to a place of great comfort and beauty for you. Imagine a place perhaps in nature, or maybe it's a room or a chair that you love. But whatever comes to you, just trust it. And imagine yourself there, in solitude. This is a place to be deeply with yourself. And again, trusting whatever shows up and allowing the images in your surroundings to become even more vivid so that perhaps you start to see colors, images, maybe even textures of this place. Can you hear sounds or smell, smells here? This is a place just for you to listen deeply to your own inner knowing without distractions.
being transparent and allowing whatever shows up to be just right. And notice that nearby you, there is a path. And you feel compelled to move towards the path, knowing that there's something valuable there for you. So make your way to the path. And as you move along it, you become clear that you are going to be meeting your future self. You in 20 years. You who has lived the journey and has figured out how to get to the vision and the dream that you're holding for yourself today. This part of you is eager to meet with you and eager to talk with you. So just move along the path at a pace that feels just right. And find yourself approaching a bridge on the path. And cross over the bridge, knowing that you're now entering into the space, the abode, the dwelling place, the energy of your future self. So cross the bridge now, and then notice your future self, you in 20 years, moving towards you. You just notice what it's like to be in the presence of your future self. As they move closer to you, notice what your future self is wearing. As your future self approaches, Greet each other in whatever way it feels just right. So take a moment to greet each other and to be in the presence of one another. To acknowledge each other and to appreciate each other. What is it like to be in the presence of this person? Just notice. What is your future self's energy like? What does your future self inspire in you? Just notice. And also allow yourself to be appreciated by your future self. And in fact, as you stand before this part of you, this is a part of you, you're successful, wise, clear, competent future self. Listen to what they have to say as they acknowledge you. Just take it in, allow your future self to acknowledge who you are now and what you've accomplished already on your journey. Just take a moment to listen in silence as your future self appreciates you. And now you're going to ask some questions to your future self. And just trust whatever shows up, whatever responses you get, knowing that you'll deepen your learning as you go. But this part of you does have wisdom for you. So find a space for a conversation and settle in. 
and start by asking, how did you get there, future self? What did it take for you to become the success that I see before me? What did it take for you to get to where you are? And silently receive their response. And now ask your future self, what's the most important thing for me to pay attention to in my journey now? What's the most important thing for me to pay attention to in my journey now? From your perspective, my future self, what's the most important thing for me to pay attention to? Trust whatever's coming. Now ask your future self, what do you know about who I am meant to work with? My ideal client or the ones who need me the most? What do you know from your perspective 20 years in the future? about who I am meant to serve and receive their answer, receive their wisdom. Ask your future self, what's the right next step? Ask your future self if they have guidance on the next action in moving towards the success that they are. You can feel and see and experience the being of this future self. From this place, Ask your future self, what's the next right action? Just trust whatever shows up. conversation and the meeting to a close, knowing that you will come back again and again to connect with this part of yourself, knowing that your future self will always be there. So say goodbye for now in whatever way feels just right. Honoring each other, enjoying each other, delighting in this chance to connect. And when you're ready, you part ways knowing that you'll take whatever you need with you from this conversation. And make your way back to the bridge that you crossed to get here taking your time to cross over it and returning to the path, 
moving at whatever pace is just right. And returning to the place of safety and solitude. Maybe it looks the same and maybe it looks different. And finding yourself in a place of solitude to just be with yourself in the experience you just had. Just breathing it in, reflecting on whatever you received, however much or however little, was absolutely perfect. And as you integrate this information, knowing that it's a part of you now, you really trust it. Just taking another deep breath and turning your attention to wherever you are in this present moment, feeling your body against the chair or the floor, wherever you are, bringing attention back to your body and your breath. Appreciating who you are, where you are right now in this moment. All of its perfection, all of its imperfection. Just appreciating it and allowing that gratitude to expand. With another deep breath, perhaps you open your eyes. I would welcome you to take five or 10 minutes to sit with pen and paper before you transition back into your day to jot down any notes you want to take about this visualization. Knowing that putting the pen to paper also helps to deepen your learning and deepen your know about this amazing human being that you are and who you're becoming. So just take a moment now to do that. And have a great day. Okay. So I'd love to go straight into journaling. Um, I'm just gonna try and play some like background music if I can get it on this computer, but go ahead and start journaling. Um, what I would love for you guys to do is kind of write down who you thought, or, you know, what you looked like, what was your space like, what was your um, comfort zone, what was your path look like, what did you look like 20 years from now? How did you embrace yourself? What did you tell yourself to focus on? How did you feel leaving yourself? It's good stuff.
Let's talk about it, okay? Um, did anybody just have like a life-changing 18 minutes? Um, because it's beautiful. Um, I actually even feel even better that I did it just the second time. So I feel like this is definitely something we've got to consistently do. Um, coming back to our future self. Like, Oh, gosh, it makes me emotional. I don't know about you guys, but like I got emotional during it. Like um, my future self is so comforting. Like, like, do you guys feel that? Like when you're with yourself, you're like, it's so beautiful because she knows everything. Like, oh my God, I'm going to be emotional today, but got to cry at least on one week, right? <laughs> one day a week or something. <laughs> Um, it's just really cool to think of myself 20 years from now, like doing what I'm supposed to be doing, you know, like, I don't know about you guys, but okay. So I'll kind of share my vision a little bit. And then I would love to hear if any of you guys want to share, like, where was your place? What did you feel? What did you tell yourself? Like, I would love to hear some of you guys too, because it's so cool. Cause you're going to see how different everyone's is um so my my secure place which is no surprise is like this beach with like a palm tree that's like laid over enough where there's like a hammock connected to just the same palm tree and it's like underneath it and so like i'm in this hammock and like i can hear the palm trees like swaying i can hear the water i can hear the wind and it's just like this comfort zone for me and then like my trail is like you know I kind of like plop myself out of this hammock and I see like through these like mangroves or kind of like jungle-ish kind of place and I'm like walking through and I'm like pushing the trees you know and then like my bridge is like this old kind of jungle bridge like over through um like a creek or something like that but it's very green it's very um like everything is uh, like so yeah like a rope bridge yes exactly like and when I get across there it's like I'm just there and I just have like this flowy dress on and I'm and I have like wrinkles in my face but my hair is just like long and and everywhere like I just don't kind of I'm kind of like very natural and like the embrace that I have for myself when I get across that bridge is like, whoo, like hugging myself. I don't know. It's so weird. Like it brings like emotions to me. And then like, it's funny because like even like my, um, like where we go to sit is like around like a little like piece like little campfire, but like it's like a little like peace wigwam. Like you guys are <laughs> like one of those like like a teepee or something like that. Like like it's all like um oh hi Ashley. <laughs> um but it's like you know kind of almost like a village, like a little like jungle village. And I'm just sitting and talking to myself over over like tea and like hookah or something like that. Like that's like what I imagined it. And then like it's interesting. So this is where, like, so the last time I did it, I still had that same vision. Um, I kind of dealt more into the details of it. Like now that I already knew what I wanted, I kind of just really delved into the details of what it smelled like, like extra thoughts and stuff like that. Um, but it was weird because when I actually left myself and I came back, this didn't happen last time, but this time she had said something about when you come back out to your comfort space, it may look the same or it may not. And for some reason, when I came back out of my like jungle space and like back out to the beach, it was actually like a storm. 
um, it wasn't peaceful anymore. It was actually like the water was like ripping and it was kind of like whirlwind. But then I had this like image of me like, like standing, like, <laughs> like, like a Wonder Woman kind of, or like Xena, you know, I was like, and like my hair was like whipping around and I was just like standing there. And I was just like, like, I could just feel this sense of like, like power. Um, I don't know. That's just like my vision and that's what I love. And so that's what I wrote about. Um, but it's very cool. And so I'd love to hear if anybody else wants to share maybe like their little path or trinkles or even like any detail of just like how different was yours from mine. <laughs> I can go. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, wow, that that was really, <laughs> that was the first time that I've ever like done a meditation like that, like really, really focused and really like visualized. Um, I visualized um, one thing that my future self told me is, see girl, I told you you could do it. Um, that's what she told me. And when I walked across my bridge, um, my husband and I were actually kayaking in Thailand. Um, beautiful rocks, beautiful ocean beaches, just kayaking through the the rocks and um, but you know, and it said, you know what what do I have to do now to get there? What do I need to do now to get to my future self? And that's reaching the lost moms. Um, I felt really big on that. Reaching the lost moms, you know, the broken moms, or maybe even the young girls that are lost in their life that don't know what's next. I don't know if it's because I've been there. I've been lost as a young girl, as a young woman after college, like what's next? What is there for me? And so reaching them and trying to direct them the right way. Um, and then also bonding, bonding with my girls, um, touching them, hugging them, you know, just being together, like the retreat uh, spoke to me too, the warrior women retreat that's coming up in the fall. Like that is going to be so empowering to get to my future self. Uh, so that's what I got out of it. So thank you, Jenny, for that. <laughs> it's emotional, isn't it? Oh. What is it about meeting your future self that just brings like intense emotion? Like it's it's so interesting like even when you go and then speaking about yourself is hard it's so hard but like you guys it's so comforting that's the word that i kept saying to myself is like it's so comforting to know 20 years from now I handled it i did it even though i don't know what happens in that 20 years just visualizing myself 20 years from now is so beautiful does anybody else have anything else that they wanted to share? Because I would love to hear. Mine was yeah. weird at first. I was able to get through a portion of it. Unfortunately, not all of it like I wanted to. But so at first, I found myself really awkwardly in my mom's bed because I have been craving my mom since she lives in Indiana and that comfort and peace that she's always brought me through everything. And then I quickly shift gears to being on my bridge on a motorcycle. So I was with Teddy on the bike going, I need some, like, I need some freeing time is what it felt like for me. And I feel like in talking to my future self, that's part of why I love the warrior women so much for me is that I'm working on, you are okay, please be patient. 
<laughs> working on a better me and finding a more freeing me, a less stressed out me, a happier, who am I? What do I want to be me? So as much as I wasn't able to get through all of it, um, what I did get out of it was very comforting. And also I need to reach out to my mom today. <laughs> I love that, that you thought of your mom, because that's like, if we're not extensions of our parents, you know what I mean? Like, and I love that you have like that. It's so interesting of how something just automatically, like automatically comes in your mind and you're like, why did that come in my mind? But you're like, let's just go with it. Let's just feel it. Let's just see what happens. And like, it's so cool to just truly visualize you guys. Like we rarely ever take the time to just visualize. And that's why I like, I love this because it just makes us pull emotions and thoughts that we haven't channeled in who knows how long, you know? And I think this was perfect for you, Kristen, right now, because you are, you're in a transformation, like in the beginning days of it, you know, almost it's like, she just signed up as a coach. She's just been working out with me for you know, maybe a month or so. And so I remember looking back at that beginning time and it being so overwhelming, looking at how far I needed to go, you know, um, or exposing the work that I needed to be done on the inside, let alone on the outside, you know? Um, and that can be very stressful, but I think something like this can show you like you have 20 years to work on it until you even meet that future self of you. You have so much time to change and to work and to transform. And so it's almost just like be in it, just be in it and be okay with just being in it, you know? So I love that. Um, thank you for sharing that. I think Carly had her hand up as well. So I'd love to hear from you, girl. Yeah. I don't know if, if is it because I'm kind of new to this, you know, warrior woman and like, just like self-development. I really, and it's kind of really makes me sad is, I couldn't see myself and I don't know if it was like, I wasn't like fully in it. Cause I tried to get away from my children. You know, I got about halfway through, but I honestly, like I kept reaching like where, like I couldn't see my face. I couldn't see what I was wearing. And it was like, holy crap. It just like made me think like, like bad things automatically. I was like, Oh my gosh, am I not going to be here in 20 years? Like, why can't I see myself? Where am I? So I don't know if it's just because like it's telling me like I'm new and I need to like get to know me better. So I don't know. I, girl, can I just say how freaking proud I am of you? <laughs> That's hard to say. Okay. Um, I'm going to cry for you. <laughs> But I think it's super insightful that you had that thought of like, this is not, it's not because I'm not going to be here in 20 years. It's because I'm new to this journey. Like, and just imagine Carly, if you weren't here, if, like you wouldn't be doing these exercises and you wouldn't have the insight of like, I need to figure out who I am and what's going on with me. You know what I mean? Like, so I think that that's like Jenny said, baller super brave for you to say that you're new to the group so speaking up generally is scary <laughs> i've been a part of this group for a long time and just started feeling comfortable speaking up and to to open up about something like that like thank you so much for sharing that with us that's super vulnerable and like step one you know what i mean do this visualization next week and i bet you you are going to start seeing your space and your outline you know what i mean like it is just such a work in progress and this is the the group to be with for it Elika, thank you so much. I actually was like, please, Elika, come on and say something because I'm crying too much right now. And then, like, you, like, literally, it was like, we, like, channeled, and I just, like, channeled a thought to you because you, like, popped right on and started talking, so thank you. Um, Carly, the work you're doing here is so important. It's so important to who you are on the inside. And so don't ignore what you saw or what you didn't see. Because sometimes what maybe you couldn't see your face, but maybe there were other things that were happening, but because you were so focused on why can't I see my face? Why can't I see my face? It almost drowned it, didn't it? And that's how life is. We get so focused on 
this is bad, this is bad, this is bad, that we kind of forget about maybe there were pretty trees around. Maybe there was a comforting space around, but we were so focused on that one thing we couldn't find that we were yearning for that we forget about the rest. And so that's a good, that's a, wow. I actually am so proud of you. Like I'm seriously so proud of you because even just doing it and admitting it is a step in the right direction. You're doing the work and the work is hard. Like the work I've done over the four years, I couldn't tell you how many times I've had breakdown cries. You know, I couldn't tell you how many times I wanted to give up because it was hard to work, to fight for myself, but it's still hard not knowing who you are too, you know? So I want you to do this hard work because this hard work is going to get you places. And so I'm very proud of you and I'm very excited for you to discover your face. I'm so excited for that because it's going to happen. There's going to be a time that you do this and it's going to happen. And then you're going to be like, it's working. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> I'm making progress. There's going to be a moment that you're going to feel that. And I, did you journal this as well? Okay. Make sure you write all of this down because I want you to be able to reference this because it's just like, you guys, I think of this as like our very first before photo. We all hate it, right? Like nobody wants to take before photos. Like you're like, Ugh. like I made my cut off my head in my first before photo. Like my first before photo doesn't have my head in it. I hate that. I hate it because I cut my face out of a freaking photo and now I never have it. So this is like our very first before photo. Okay. It sucks. It's hard. But there's going to be a point that we're going to do this and we're going to transform and we're going to want to look back and go, wow, look how far I've come. Look at where I was here and look where I am now. So it's very important that you feel exactly what you felt. Okay. You don't shame it. You don't guilt it. You don't pressure it to be something different. It's exactly what it was for a reason. And now you know where you're at. And now you know where to go from here. Now you have something to build off of. Now you know exactly where you can start working. Okay? So I love you. Thank you very much for that. I appreciate it. Um, I see Nicole's hand up, so I'd love to hear from her. Jenny, I was going to say kind of that same thing. It's like when I was closing my eyes, I see black. But it was like I was talking myself through like what was happening and what was going on. And mine was like, my husband's in my like special place that we would, um, that we went to in college. It's, it's a swinging bridge in uh, Bluffton and it's out in like the woods and stuff like that. But I'm like walking myself through kind of like, where am I at? Where am I going? And when you were saying that you were kind of walking through the jungle, I thought, is it a good thing that I'm walking through like a woods? I mean, is that, is that a good thing? but it's, it's a special place to me. And, um, and my, fu my future self was just acknowledging on how hard I've worked. Um, yeah. Do I have like hiccups where I don't always do, you know, necessarily the right thing for me, but at the same time, when I would see my, like when I would see myself, even in like the darkness, I knew that that 20 year old person me, you know, 20 years later, healthy. I was healthy. I, I had, a, like you said this morning, I had like a positive vibe. When I saw myself, I just, I wanted to smile. It was like that, that smile when you want to see like your grandma or, you know, your mom, it's just that smile. And um, we embraced. And even when we were walking away, it was like, I turned and I, you know, waved. And I just saw that person walking away confident, knowing that I was coming back to a good place. So that was kind of my experience. And I thought it was, it was neat, but I was glad that, that she also said that like, she didn't see anything. Cause I, I don't, I didn't see like what you were seeing with the palm trees and this, and it was like, I was having to verbally walk myself through in my mind, what was happening. 
So that's kind of like where I was at. <laughs> I love that. Thank you for sharing that too, because I think it's important too to be like, hey, I was similar to that. You know, like you're not alone in not being able to see something. And you guys also remember it's not good nor bad. Okay. What you see or what you don't see is not good nor bad. It just is. Okay. So don't beat yourself up because maybe you didn't see something that somebody else saw because you're in a different place than me. Or, you know, don't compare your day one to my year four. You know, remember that. I have put in years of work to even get here and I still don't even feel like I'm a fraction where I want to be. You know? And so remember, you guys, everybody is at the point they're at. And it's really just a reference point. It's just to say, okay, I feel good, but I have some space to work. I have something to go off of now to build off of because I want that future self to be proud. I want that future self to be healthy. And how can I continue visualizing her like that? Or how can I mold to visualize her like that? You know, maybe you didn't see yourself help, see yourself healthy. God, that was like a tongue twister for some reason. Um, and so now you have a reference point to say, okay, I'm going to start working on that, you know? Um, and so this is really just a reference point for you. Um, let me see. It's 904. Did anybody else want to share? Cause I'm, I'm in, I'm in on this. So like if anybody else wanted to share, like their future stuff. I see another hand, but it just says. Too. I don't want to share, but I just want to give a comment on like visualization generally. I mean, I would love to share. It was great. Jenny and I have done this one other time before and my visualization of myself was totally different this time. The space where I was and everything than the first time. So it's just a really right. interesting observation. Yeah. Um, but I think generally just to give everybody like a heads up about like meditation or visualization, like it's, it takes time to, to figure out how to do it. So like if this was your first one and you're new to like self-development and you didn't see anything or it was hard for you, like it's totally normal and okay. It's just like any, like your bicep, it's just something you have to practice and grow and work on. So like the more that you do it, the more comfortable it is for you and the, the easier it is for you to kind of transition into that mental space. Because it is like Jenny, you were saying like, please just kind of humor me, be open-minded with this before we started because it can be, a little out there if you're not used to it or like kind of spiritually you know linked or connected to begin with so just wanted to give that feedback i gotta go help my husband unload groceries so have a great weekend ladies <laughs> we'll see you thank tomorrow you. morning for yoga okay thank you yeah. um yeah if you guys don't know elika um i'm just gonna give you like a little background on elika so she's um counseling social work like yoga certified so like she actually brought this meditation or well we we're reading a book um it's called who the f am i to coach <laughs> um it's actually a really great book but with the book we got along this meditation um a free meditation with it so we were like all right well let's try it and um and so this is kind of where this was came from and so how we got it how we got a hold of it how it kind of fell into our laps um was sheer like luck <laughs> you know honestly um we just kind of picked the book because it looks like a warrior. Like we literally like, we were like, oh, it has a bunch of arrows on it. It looks like something a warrior person, like a warrior woman would read. <laughs> so we just like picked it randomly, but it is actually a really good book too. And it literally, the, the caption is a warrior's guide to building a successful coaching business from the inside out. And so for us, it just seemed like perfect. And so, um, and along with it, or in the book, she was like, we have a guided meditation if you want it. And so Elika was like, well, I'm going to message her and see if we can get it. And we got it. And so we tried it like two weeks ago and did it. We both like were crying because it was just like a rough day. And, but we both needed it. And so I was like, we've got to do this for the girls. I was like, I got to do this for the girls. Um, Amanda, I see your hand up. Go ahead. Hey, let's, okay. You there? Mm-hmm. Okay. So mine was really similar to yours, and I had some similarities to Carly also. So with mine, I started out in a place that I've never seen before. It was like a hotel room, apartment-esque kind of like 
real straight lines architecture. I was in the middle of a bed with white sheets and pillows everywhere. It was just super comfy and I'm just laying there. It, was just, it felt really comfortable. And then she started talking about a path, which threw me off. So I turn and I look, I see a hallway, but then all of a sudden I'm in a forest. And like she was saying, I'm walking through the forest and it was kind of like, I remember the color was kind of brown that I was walking on the trees to the side. It was very foresty. I don't know how to describe it, but I come up to the bridge and my bridge was more made of stone and kind of like out of a painting. Like you would cross over this bridge, like there's a little bit of water underneath it. It was very, very picturesque. It's, I don't I don't know what the word is. Um, but with myself, one of the things, I didn't see my face either. I saw my eyes and it's like my countenance. It's very emotional. So. Um, and I couldn't see what I was wearing until well, I couldn't see what I was wearing until because she said something about a greeting. And mine was very fantasy world, but one of the things is I know that we were right up next to each other. I still didn't see my face. I had like this hood started to form where it's just darkness. It was very dreamlike. Like when I was walking through the woods, I'd seen like mist and just clouds, just like creating a dream. And I didn't want to force it. I didn't want to force the thoughts to come because I was trying to treat them more like a scab. Like you pick up a scab, if it's too tender, leave it alone. You just let it do what it's going to do. So we're turning like clockwise facing each other and then all of a sudden like this dress starts to flow down and we're both just dressed in like gowns if you will and there's this like little cottage off in this like little alcove and we're like off to the side in the trees and it's like a toadstool kind of stonish like little table and there's little seats on either side so we're just sitting there and there's like no actual speaking speaking just she would ask the questions and we would just look at each other and it was like I would just feel the answer. And it was, um, very comforting. So coming back was very weird too, so I've got everything written down here. I'm gonna stop now. But basically there were similarities. I just didn't see a face. It wasn't necessary to see my face. I didn't really want, I'm 40 years old. I don't wanna see what I look like at 60. I don't wanna see that face. Let me just know that it's me <laughs> in a nice outfit. Let me just cover it up. My 60-year-old self would not want to scare me, okay? That's, that's why I don't see my face. <laughs> that's what I took from not seeing my face is that I wouldn't want to scare myself. So I don't know if that helps Carly or not, but that's what I took from it. So I'm going to stop. Oh my God, that was awesome. How much visualization, isn't that so cool how some of our minds just create these like extravagant, like scenes, you know, and how some people have no scene, you know, it's just so cool how we're all listening and doing the same exact thing, yet we all get different results, you know, because it's based off of where we're at right now. Um, I love that. Thank you so much for sharing that. And I love, it. it's so interesting. I would have never even thought to not see a face like that would have never crossed my mind because all I see is actually my face. I see so many wrinkles. <laughs> I don't know why. Like whenever I look at my face 20 years from now, like when I see myself, like I have like gray hair and like, I just have like crow's feet around here. And like, like they're good wrinkles though. Like they're not like, oh my God, you look terrible. It's like, wow, look at what you've like, you've aged and like, look at all this like life you've been through is like what it was more like. It was just, um, it was really cool. And so I love, thank you guys so much for sharing your guys's because um, it can feel silly sometimes, but the fact that we were, we're all in it, we're all doing it can be very comforting too. And I know as people start sharing, you're like, oh shoot, okay, that is kind of like mine. Or, you know, you kind of build your confidence a little bit when you maybe hear somebody else speak. That's why I was kind of like to share mine first, um, just to kind of open the doors. But um, I would love if you guys are interested in maybe doing this again, um, two weeks, maybe a month from now or something like that, getting together and revisiting your future self and seeing what you have to say next time. 
Um, remember that a lot of your vision could be based on your circumstances right now. You know, um, it could be based off of your morning you had, you know, like <laughs> it can all change. Just like um, my vision was very similar to the first vision I had when Ella and I did it two weeks ago. But then, like she said, hers was completely different this time. She had a completely different vision this time, which I was like, really? I was like, how did you do that? Like, I was like, I literally went, I sucked right back into that same comfort zone. I looked the same. I was wearing the same outfit that I did when I visualized it the first time. I just, I just paid attention to more detail this time when I did it. And so it's just interesting, you guys. And maybe next time I do it, maybe I will be in a completely different space or something like that. And so, um, I want you guys to ponder on this for the day, okay? Um, I want you to, you know, maybe before you go to bed, maybe journal about it just for another five minutes. Um, how did it affect your day? How did it make you feel? Um, how do you feel about it tomorrow? Well, maybe we'll revisit tomorrow just a little bit to say, like, how did it affect your guys' this day? Um, but also, no. You guys, this um, it's just kind of for fun, you know. I mean, of course, it serves purpose, but um, just know that the information is something for you to work with. But I don't want you guys to dwell over it, okay? So if you didn't visualize something you thought you should have, or maybe your kid kept walking in the door and you were like, "Oh my god, I'm super freaking distracted, and I'm not paying attention to this." message me. I'll send it to you. I'll email it to you. You could try it again whenever you want on your own if you want to. Um, that's totally fine. So just know that it's just something new. It's something for us to try. And it's just something for you to use to reference, but never guilt or shame or anything like that. Okay, guys, you guys know like that does not serve purpose in our body. Do not allow it. This is just a starting point And this is just a practice. And what happens with practice? We continue to do it. So maybe a year from now, you'll be visualizing every freaking detail of the way and color your eyes look. You know, you never, you never know. Okay. You never know unless you try and you continue to work at it. Okay. So hopefully that was fun for you guys, or hopefully it just gave you something different. Um, tomorrow, bring your yoga mats. Uh, Elika will be working us through a nice little, um, yoga, stretching, meditation, kind of breathing practice. We did it, I think, two weeks ago. And so I thought it was just nice to kind of bring that back in. And then Sunday I'll do like a little, um, I'll have like a video and stuff like that. So bring your yoga mats tomorrow. And awesome. I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you guys enjoyed that. So bye ladies. I hope you have a good day. Bye.